Content creation using AI is now trending. Now everyone can create amazing videos using AI, which is why the competition is fierce. If you want to be successful, you have to create something unique and have potential. In this video, I am going to share a new idea and also share how you can create those videos. So let's dive in. People always like weird things, which is why videos like baby podcasts, Bigfoot vlogs, or animal videos are going viral. After researching a lot, I found another niche. Look at this video. Mmm. Ice cream sounds amazing right now, thought Spider-Man. So, he landed right in front of Tony's ice cream truck, which had a big smiling ice cream cone painted on the side. There was a long line of kids, and Spider-Man patiently waited for his turn. Yes. That's our favorite superheroes doing weird things. And this type of video goes viral quickly. So, let's have a look at how we can create this kind of video. To create the video, I will use Read Kids AI. You may know Read Kids AI as one of the best tools to create children's books. However, with several AI features, you can also create this kind of video. So, let's start our journey. However, if you are new to Read Kids, you will find the link in the description. Okay. This is how the new interface of Read Kids looks. First, we have to create an account. So, click on Try for Free and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will look like this. You will find several tools, features, and styles to create books and content. As I want to create a comic style video, I need to use this AI image tool. Here you will find two options, Custom Drawing and AI Filter. The Custom Drawing tool is very interesting. You can create consistent character images in any style using only text prompts. After creating a project, set a drawing style and then enter the text prompts here in this box. After that, you can set a reference portrait. In the end, set the aspect ratio of the image and hit the generate button. After waiting for some time, you will get four images like this. And you can see the quality of the images. They are just amazing. Now. You can set any of the images as the reference image and then create consistent character images like this. Okay, now imagine we want to create a story featuring Spider-Man and I have this image. Now, to create any video, we need a story. If you already have a story in your mind, then it will be great. However, I already generated a story using ChatGPT. Now, I will break the story scene by scene and then create images using Read Kids. All right. The story and scene description are ready. Now, let's start creating the images. First of all, we will use the AI filter option to change the character visuals. I have an image in a realistic style, and I want to generate the visual in a comic style so that kids love it. Here, you can see some of my previous creations. I am deleting them. To create new images, click on the new button from here. A pop-up will appear. First of all, we have to upload the reference image. I am uploading the image of Spider-Man. You should upload your own. After uploading the image, select the subject from here. Currently, it's set as human. Set as per need between human, pet, scene, or object. Imagine you are recreating the image of your kids or pets. How your kids will love them if they see them. Okay, now we have to set the filter from here. You will find a bunch of options. Just select which one you want to use. I will select the blue chubby style. Once everything is set, Hit the Generate button. It will take some time to analyze and restyle the image. And here it is. The image is ready. It's a perfect clone of our image in blue chubby style. You will get four different variants here. Just select which one you prefer. Now at the bottom of the page, you will find two more options. The first one is Clone Another. With this tool, you can change the style of the image using another filter. Just select the subject type and then set the preferred style and then hit the Generate button. After waiting for some time, I got this image. Now it's a perfect clone of our image, but in the pencil sketch style. And I love it. Okay, now let's create the scene images according to our scene description. To do that, we have to select the Generate Scene Image option from here. You can see that our reference image is selected. Now we have to enter the scene description or prompt here in this box. I am entering the very first prompt from ChatGPT. After entering the prompt, set the aspect ratio from here. You will find a bunch of options. I am selecting 16.9. After that, set the reference weight. Next, we have a very interesting feature. 
If you think the prompt is not so rich or up to the mark, you can enhance the prompt and make it super rich. And here it is. The detailed prompt is ready. This is really a very good prompt. So, now you don't need to worry about the prompt. Just enter the basic scene description, and your prompt will be ready. Okay. Now to generate the image, hit the create button from here and then wait for some time. And here it is. Our image is ready. And it's a perfect image according to our scene description. You will get four variants. Just select the perfect one. Now to organize the images, I will rename the image as the first scene. You can download or share the image from here. Okay, our first image is ready. Now I will create the second image. So, I am selecting the Generate Scene Image tool. After that, I will add the second scene description. After entering the prompt, I will set the aspect ratio and the reference weight. After that, I will generate the detailed prompt. Once the prompt is ready, I will hit the Create button to generate the image. And here it is. The image is ready. Just select the best image from the four variants. Now, in the same method, generate all other images. Read Kids has an infinite canvas. So, you don't need to worry about the organization of the images. Okay, all of the images are ready. Now let's turn them into video clips. The steps are very simple. When you select an image, you will find the Generate Video option under the image. Just select the Generate Video option. Once you click on the Generate Video option, you will notice that the video generation process has started. And here is the video clip. It's ready. And honestly speaking, this is really a good video clip. Once the video is ready, okay, now in the same method, generate all the video clips and rename them according to the scene. All right, all of our video clips are ready. Now download all the video clips and organize them in a separate folder in ascending order. All of our video clips are ready. Now it's time to generate the voiceover. You can use any text-to-speech generator to generate the voiceover. Once the voiceover is ready, assemble the video and audio with a video editor, and then export the video. Okay, our video is ready. Let's have a look. One sunny afternoon in New York City, Spider-Man was swinging from building to building, enjoying the warm weather. The sky was blue, the birds were chirping, and he was craving something sweet. Mmm. Ice cream sounds amazing right now, thought Spider-Man. So, he landed right in front of Tony's ice cream truck, which had a big smiling ice cream cone painted on the side. There was a long line of kids, and Spider-Man patiently waited for his turn. But just as he was about to order his favorite, a triple chocolate marshmallow cookie crunch sundae, a mischievous little pigeon swooped down, grabbed his web shooter with its tiny beak, and flew off. Hey, that's not for you, buddy! Spider-Man shouted, leaping into action. The pigeon zipped through the sky, dodging buildings, billboards, and one very surprised window washer. Give it back, you feathery thief! This is a great video, and I think kids are going to like the video. So now you can create this kind of video using the Read Kids AI filter tool. Now let's have a quick look at how we can create a kid's book using the same story. To do that, we have to select the AI picture book tool. As we already have a story, I am selecting Use My Story. If you don't have the story, select the AI Generate option. You can select a single book or create a book series. On the next page, we have to enter the story. After entering the story, set the aspect ratio and then click on Extract Roles. Now it will analyze and create the characters. Once the character is created, generate the character images. Now we have to create the storyboard, so click here. Once the storyboard is ready, click on the Next button. This is the visual creation interface. Now we have to generate images for every scene. Just click on the Generate button to generate the images for every scene. Once done, you can fix the text and other settings. After customizing the book, see the preview here. And here it is. Our book is ready, and it looks so good. Now you can download the book. To learn more about the book creation, you can watch this video from the I button. So whether you want to create children's books or videos, Read Kids can be your best assistant or tool. So don't forget to try this tool. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I'll wrap up our video now. Before that, I'd love to hear your opinion about Read Kids AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating.